everyone, Fox Blockhead here, and yes, we are back to Fox Blockhead. If you watched Bingo yesterday, you would have known that I didn't have a Fox Blockhead skin, I had an Alex skin. So, let me just catch you up on what I've been doing as we run across the water here. You can, we'll go over and you can check out my progress uh, on our path. So, we're preparing for this Friday. Uh, I don't. I probably wouldn't normally do stuff like this and and have a few episodes leading towards something in particular, uh, but today or well, this weekend, this for this Saturday actually, uh, is Talk Like a Pirate Day, and it's an international day, and I'm going to try and record a whole episode where I talk like a pirate. Um, we'll see if we can give it a go after this one. There we go. The stars and the sun are all in the sky, and here is our new path. Remember, we laid this one out last time. And it ends up that it perfectly lined up with our tunnel. So we've got a tunnel down here. Um, I decided to do the the roof here in sandstone. So we've got sandstone into st into sandstone. Uh, we've got the walls as bricks, and I don't have any cobble on me. I did have one idea uh, for going across the top there, just to uh, you know, to be a bit of a bit safety conscious. There we go, and let's do some of this. I was going to be a bit safety conscious, you see, and I thought this might blend in a bit, because you can't do brick stairs. You can do nether brick stairs. Come on, here we go. One, two, three. Yeah, that looks alright, and you can't jump over it, because it's a wall, just the way that it is. Hmm, maybe I need to do something like that, back that way as well. That looks a bit better as well, because it kind of blends it in. We can go back to here, put a couple of torches on it, very nice. Anyway, we go down here, we've got the theme still coming through. And then when we get down the bottom here, we've got all smooth stone, top and bottom. We start losing some of the bricks. Uh, we've got some stuff that I collected along the way. Um, and then we go to the other end here where we've got a couple of steps up and then we go through the water so I decided on uh, blue glass uh, that's blue glass this is light blue glass uh, this is blue stained clay now I'm not sure about that I might change that out for wool um, and I'm not sure about the sides either but uh, that looks kind of cool and I, I might have to move it down uh, a block so we have water over the top as well uh, just so it looks a bit different. I haven't finished up this side of things because I wanted to get over there. So, uh, I need a way out of here, don't I? Okay. Way out. Oh, dear. And I dig up into a pool of water. How typical. Okay, no torches on the ground. No torches on the ground. Okay, good. So we get up here, and I want this path to end up in our pirate ship over there. How much? We've got about half of the day, so I can show you my progress. Luckily, I've got super speedy water boots. Uh, so this is the kind of shape that I'm going for. I'm going to have to set up a, a tower or a, a pillar just so that I can make sure that I've, I've got the right kind of a shape. I want it to be about that high on the side, and then I want it to taper in... Uh, to a point at the front, and we may try a bit of a, a mermaidy type type of a statue, uh, and then get some of some of these. Uh, try and um, there, that's fine. Uh, and oak wood to start with at least. And one more there. There we go. Uh, and then. I'll carve out the inside so we get a bit of an inside bit. I want it to have a, a bit of a flat area here. And then you can go down to the galley underneath. Um, we've got the bottom, the hull, under here. And I want to dig out one more row there. So we've got the hull uh, at a point at the bottom. And then we'll go up the same on the other side. And then at the back of the boat, we're going to make it a bit more... Uh, a bit less pointy, I guess. So the boat has come in here into the swamp and it's run aground up here. That, that's the idea. That's the plan anyway. Uh, and uh, 
I guess I wanted to try and get this curve here worked out now. Uh, and then on Friday, I can do a bit more work. And yeah, that looks all right. And that's the curve that I want on the bottom. So I want to uh, have this all worked out so that on Friday, I can talk like a pirate while I record. Oh, that we're done with that. And this is going to be the top, and this is going to be the front, and I'll have to change out some of the pieces for stairs and, and all the rest of it. Oh, get some more. Oh dear, I lost my lost my shift. Mm, that might have to go up another one actually. Um, hmm. Not sure what to do with that one, uh, but you can kind of see. Hmm. Make a dirt pillar. If I've got enough dirt, of course. Oh, and then I'll need stairs to get up there. I mean, not stairs. I'll need the stuff. Ladders. They're the ones. I don't know if this is going to be far enough away, but... I'll just pillar up and have a look. There we go. So it's looking alright so far. I'm going to need a couple of pillars, actually, I think just to make sure that the whole thing looks all right. Um, it's kind of looking small as well. I want it to maybe go out a few more blocks, just because it's not, if it's that size, it's a bit, a bit of a small boat. And then you come through the tunnel, and I want the tunnel to pop up into the boat, and then from the boat you can go and visit other things in this area, um, perhaps even have a couple of side tunnels going off, maybe to an underwater area that I was thinking you'd have over there. Um, so that's how you get to it, through that way there, and maybe even having a second path so you can bypass it. There looks like a bit of a cave over there. Hmm, let's go and check that out. Oh, let's see if I can do this. Oh, didn't, didn't jump enough. Still got him, didn't jump enough. Okay, there's a cave. I've put some lights in it. I'm going to go and check that out and see if that's a possible other thing. Thing. I'm using all the words today. All the words. Oh, I, I hear lava. Um, hmm. That goes down, down, down. And that also goes down, down, down. So maybe not. Hmm. How about we, how about we do that? And I'll tell you what's going on. So you'll probably hear a bit about this this week. Jared Hayne has his first start in the NFL. Uh, I waited to record this episode until I found out, so it's at least 11 o'clock on Tuesday in Australia. Um, it's about, well, it's about, it's an hour till kickoff now, so you know when I'm recording. Um, hour till kickoff, and Jared Hayne is going to suit up for the San Francisco 49ers, which is very cool. I'm very excited to see what he can do. Um, what about over there? Let's go and check it over there. So I might split this path off and head it down this way through the flower forest. Uh, so very excited to see what he can do, how many touches of the ball he gets. So where are we? We go this way. Uh, yeah, interested to see how many touches of the ball he gets and how well he does. He's done well in pre-season, but that's pre-season. It's not regular season. It's not the real thing. Uh, if you're not sporty, I apologise. I won't talk too much about sporty things on these videos. This is just more of a, let's have fun and let's... Oh, that's right. Oh, see through the world. Hmm. I want to do something in this ravine too, so that might actually be a good excuse to come around here. Uh, let's have a look just over here. I see another little dark spot. No, I'll put torches in there. Hmm, okay, so we've got a couple of ideas of what we can do. Plenty of yeah, some yeah. Plenty of oak wood for me to use. And a bit of a deep area. Is there a chicken? Yeah, come here. I like grabbing um ink whenever I can. Means I don't have to set up a farm if I just grab it. I can make books, and I can make black things. Alright. 
Where are we? So that's, that's quite away from the boat. Although I want the boat to be a bit bigger. And I want to have a bit of an underwater uh, themed area here as well. So with domes and then um, pathways between the domes. Uh, so maybe having that ravine over there and then having a cut through that way will be a second way to get to this area way over here. Yep. Good idea. Let's do that. All right. Let me sleep and then we'll we'll make this a bit bigger. I might have to I might have to curve it a little bit more. Mm, we'll think about that. All righty. Here we go. Let's have a snooze and some coffee. All right. Here we go. Yeah. I did grab I think nearly all of my wood, so I've got plenty of oak planks. And we'll carve it up with some other other colours as well. Oh, jump in the water. We'll carve it up with some other colours as well so we can make it uh, a bit cooler. Um, that's the kind of shape I wanted. And I don't want it to be too straight. So maybe, maybe, how many is this? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... What if we make it seven? And then here. Oop, just lost that. Here we go out for five. Four. Five. How does that look? Kind of give it the shape and then we'll come back for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just mirror that on the other side. And of course we're going to have to make it, uh, carve it all out appropriately. Uh, unless that's just a cut out on the top, that could be interesting. That, that kind of makes it a bit longer. The hard thing about boats, and I'm, I'm not using any templates to do this, I'm trying to do it on my own. Uh, on my own idea, the trouble with boats is that they curve in so many ways. They curve that way underneath, they curve that way around the side, uh, and then they have multiple curves going on all at the same time. Um, let's step back over this one and have a look. So you need to step back and have a look at your work. Okay, we want to make this one. Um, because we're curving that way, actually maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe we're not cur curving, that, what am I, oh I'm on, curving that way by an extra one? Let's give that a go. Ooh, can we reach? Why don't lily pads reach enough? Um, we'll put stairs on it as well. I think I said that. Stairs and slabs will add to the texture, will add to the shape. Um, nope, don't like that. Don't like Or oh, unless we do this. So you see it's all curving. That actually looks good. I like that. So it's all curving and it's curving and it's curving in lots of different ways. And then how about we leave it one and we do get up on here. Come on. Do an extra three there. Means I'll have to come up and fill in the holes. Um, where do the holes fill in? Up under here, I guess. Uh, trying to concentrate. Oh, I'm jumping out of the water like a fish. It's gone on some dry land. Okay, all right, and then. Oh. I'm actually bit better suited to uh, doing it on the surface of the ocean. Okay, and then we've got the curve that way, the curve that way. If I finish that up, and we'll see how that curves. And I think it should be that, and maybe a little bit of a curve, and then we'll go across the back. Whew. All right, let me finish that up. This is going to be painful work, because I've got, um, got water to deal with. And I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, we're back, and I think I've got a good shape to this. Um, 
we just get up here and we'll have a look at the progress. Five more ladders to play with. Oh yeah! I like that! So I got the shape on one side, did the back bit, and then came back on the other side with the same shape. And I really like that! I'm not so sure about the front though. I think the front needs to be uh, pointier at the front. So we'll, we'll, we'll wave some stairs and everything. And that'll probably be my flat top area. But that looks great! If I do say so myself, of course. Um, okay, where's some water that we can jump into? Oh dear. No, we made it. It's all good. And then we can have a look at the side. You see what I've done around the side? Like this. I'm not too sure about this extra curve. Maybe if I add some stairs in there, then uh, that'll look better. Uh, I really like the look of the back here. Let me jump up on one of these lily pads. These have been perfect for uh, standing back and look. I really like this shape. Maybe that bottom needs to taper a bit more. Um, and then that's the bottom of the hull. Not so sure about this corner. I think I'm missing a block there, maybe. Or maybe that one needs to be in. I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep playing. I'll keep fiddling. Uh, but that right there is going to be the shape of our boat. So, join me on Friday. This is the Wednesday episode. Join me on Friday where I talk like a pirate and keep working on our pirate ship. Let me just uh, filling in the other side, making sure it's all good. Do I need to? Nope. Nope. But I will need to enchant a new one of these soon enough. Alrighty. It's noon. It's, well, it's almost noon here in, in Brisbane as well. But I really like the shape of that. Uh, if you guys have built a boat... Oh, I've got some, got some taters when I finish off. Oh, I've got one stake to go. And I've got taters to fill me up. Uh, if you guys have built a boat and you've got a picture, share it with me on Twitter because I'd like to see what you guys have done in terms of boats. We're going to have a big mast in the top. We'll have some big sails off to the sides. Try and get a Jolly Roger at the top as well. Uh, we'll have to have a cabins, a, a cabins, a captain's cabin on the back there. Cargo hold in the bottom. Uh, we definitely need some stairs just to get the shape a bit, a bit curvier. But... Uh, no, this is looking really good. I'm really excited. I wasn't so sure how a pirate's ship would go. Uh, and then when we're done, we can push this tunnel. I might have to go diagonal a bit so that we end up in the middle of the in the middle of the hull. And then you can climb out and be in the middle of the pirate ship. That's going to look cool. Ah, oh, and that'd be good too if I have this stretching out, and then you can get from there to the land. Yes, yes, very good. We are deciding things. This. <laughs> Every time, switch to that back view, tail sticking out of the pants. Hilarious. All right, that's me. That's Fox Blockhead signing out for today. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'll see you later, alligators.